Hello everybody, this is Dino Don again with my latest experiment. What I've got here is the 8XA circuit of Stan Myers. This is the drawings that I posted a while back of the components and this is my version of that unit. <clears throat> Over here I've got my uh, isolation transformer which is very important because we need to isolate the ground in this test. Uh, my power supply set at 5 volts. That runs my <clears throat> circuit frequency generator. That's the voltage in and that's what will be switching out. The output of that comes in here to my <clears throat> hex inverter. This is the input in. Uh, this is the 5 volts power in, 5 volts ground in. <clears throat> signal comes in here, comes out to hex inverter, inverts signal, goes through a resistor, into the opto coupler, and then the uh, voltage from the variac is preset to uh, 20 volts. Power comes out there, comes into the full bridge rectifier, into the SCR, <clears throat> and off the SCR is your two, uh, 25 watt 100 ohm resistor to step the current down for the opto coupler. In comes out, triggers the gate. Crossover diode across the SCR and the blocking diode out to the positive choke coil. Positive choke coil comes out, goes into my amp meter, <clears throat> comes out of the amp meter, goes into the cell positive. The oscilloscope probe is hooked across the cell, ground on the negative, come back through the negative, through the negative choke coil to the ground which ties right back to the full bridge rectifier. So it's exactly like the Myers. Okay, what I've got here of the Variax already turned on preset for 20 volts. If I try to go over 20 volts the circuit goes to full on and will not switch and create the gating signal. Okay, then my voltage again is at 5 volts that I'll be switching my transistors and stuff with. Okay, now I turn on my frequency generator and we'll watch the, you'll see the pulses, but first we'll take a shot of the gases as they come out at, uh, there's the amp draw. Okay, there's the 20 volts. Give a second for the gas. There's our gas at 0.66 amps. And here's our oscilloscope shots. Now it may be a little hard to see, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this function here, which will freeze the images on the screen. And there's our unipolar gated pulses to the cell. Again, this is just the power and amps to controls the triggering of the SCR. Uh, there's my 300 turns choke coils. <clears throat> just there. But there we go. There's, there's our pulses that everybody's been trying to generate. As you can see, that's pretty much the whole circuit. I can vary the voltage on the variac, turn the voltage down, we'll see a decrease in pulses, turn the voltage back up. Now this is what happens if I go too high, I believe I'm running into a core saturate right there. That's just a little over 20 volts, if I turn it back down a hair more, the system will come back online and voila. Now I can vary the pulses, let me change the range on here so I have more pulses. Can turn the pulses down to just a few pulses. Freeze it again. But basically, that's what we have. Again, you can see we're only pulling 0.6 amps, and the gas production is can't see anymore. But that's the general idea. So there's a signal that everybody's been trying to replicate, and there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.